I'm excited to share with you this beautiful paint color called Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. You're not gonna find a lot about this paint color online, but this is a good example of a paint color that I use all the time in the right circumstances and situations when I'm helping my clients. I'm gonna talk about what color is this paint color. For example, is it a beige, is it a gray, or is it a taupe? And I'm gonna talk about why it's so important to pair Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief with other paint colors before deciding if this is really gonna be the right paint color for your home. And I have the perfect kitchen countertop that pairs beautifully with Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. And I'm gonna ask you towards the end of this video, can you identify some of the undertones of this kitchen countertop? Now, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm an international color consultant. I have over 400 five-star reviews. Check out those reviews in the website link that's right down below in the description section and see what clients have to say about me. And I would love to help you if you're tired of buying those paint samples or if you just wanna get it right the first time. Okay, so let's talk about Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. What is it? It's a taupe. Now, we know that a taupe is a mix of a brown and a gray, but there's something else you need to know about taupes. A taupe can be a cool taupe or a warm taupe. And I wanna explain a little bit further what I mean by that. So if we know that lace handkerchief is a taupe, is it cool or is it warm? Well, let's compare it with other paint colors. So let's compare this with a paint color called Pello by Benjamin Moore. Watch what happens. When you pair Benjamin Moore with Lace Handkerchief, this is a good example of how you can see how Pell Oak is a cool taupe in comparison with Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief because Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief is a warm taupe. So now that we know that Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief is a warm taupe, well, where does it sit with the other taupes? Like, is it a medium taupe or is it a dark taupe? Because we know that it's not a light taupe. So I want to show you by comparing it with what I call a medium taupe. So right here, this paint color is called Balanced Beige by Sharon Williams. This is a medium taupe. And watch what happens when I compare this with Lace Handkerchief. So here we are. We're going to pair this balanced beige right here with lace handkerchief and you'll see how balanced beige is darker and it's warmer than lace handkerchief and you're going to see how lace handkerchief is lighter than balanced beige so now that you know that lace handkerchief is a light medium not a medium like balanced beige but what do i consider like a dark taupe i want to show you this paint color right here is called Benjamin Moore Riverway Reflection. This is what I consider a dark taupe. And let me explain. When you pair this with Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief, you're going to see real fast how Benjamin Moore Riverway Reflection is dark, it's rich, and it's warm in comparison to the light medium Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. So let's just do a quick recap. We know that Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief it's a taupe, it's a light medium taupe, but now what about fixed elements? Let's pair this with a fixed element with a kitchen countertop that pairs beautifully with Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. This is a kitchen countertop called Cam Rose. It's, it's a Zenith Quartz and it pairs really well because of the undertones and I'm gonna show you, so watch this. Watch what happens when I compare Cam Rose with Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief. You're gonna notice how Lace Handkerchief contrasts really well with the undertones of this countertop. And this is really important. You're gonna notice how this countertop is warm and it's muted. That key word right there is muted. So it's important that you compare this kitchen countertop with a warm muted paint color. And Benjamin Moore Lace Handkerchief is a good example of a warm muted kitchen paint color. Now, can you identify the undertones of this kitchen countertop? Let me know in the comment section down below, or if you have any questions about topes in general, let me know as well. And 
Feel free to put a like on this video if you found this helpful to you. And by the way, I'm doing something a little bit new this year for the year 2022. I'm uploading new design tips every week that you can't find anywhere else but my website. So go to my blog and type in design tips. Until then, I will see you in the next video.